everybody doing? Um, I ended up getting a watch, a couple of watches actually. Got this one, which is a digital one. It's basic three button sort of watch. It just does has a stopwatch and alarm and things like that, and nothing really fancy. So it was seventeen dollars and ninety five cents. So I'm not too bad on the pricing in the sense of things. So I've been wearing that for a little while. Um, what else? I got that one. I got this watch as well, which is basically a rip off of one of the more expensive watches. That's not too bad. It's water resistant. It's supposed to be water resistant anyway. This is water resistant. Uh, water resistant to 50 meters, um, which is so far I've had, had in the shower and stuff. It's been pretty good. Now, what's the other thing too? Um, I ended up getting a couple of new other watches. Not new watches, but a couple of. Um, couple of uh, watches with new batteries. I ended up getting my Pulsar, put, got a new battery put in it. All working and everything else, all functioning, which is great. And I got a Casio Edifice one with a new battery in it as well. So I basically got a bunch of batteries and everything else. So I've got a bit of a watch collection going at the moment. I did have a bit of a watch collection originally, but um, some of the watches didn't age well and they fucked up a little bit. I've been feeling a little bit demotivated lately. I just haven't been able to find myself basically and find out where I'm going with things and I want to do things but um I've just been frustrated because I haven't been able to sort of get the motivation that I want videos or inspiration for that matter. I want to be positive with most of my videos. I want to have a positive thing going, but as my personal blogs go, there's going to be situations where I get pissed off with shit and I get annoyed. What I don't understand is... I don't understand people smoking a bit of weed and having a couple of drinks and a couple of ziggies or whatever. But what I don't understand is people having meth and crack and all these other really heavy drugs and things like that. I really don't understand it. I, I can't understand it, honestly. I'm yet to understand why people go for such heavy drugs. I mean, okay, we all get bad situations in our life, but you don't see me turning to heavy drugs because of that. I take antidepressants and I take an antipsychotic, but I tend to focus on mostly the, if I do have anything, most of the time I'll have a bit of weed or something like that. Drugs, I don't know, my whole view is that if you're going to have those types of drugs like that, those, can ru those things can ruin lives and fuck things up. Artificial marijuana as well and all this other stuff and you know stuff like that That type of stuff can really fuck you up as well. I don't believe I don't honestly believe that, like that stuff's really fucked Not just that the bar salts and everything else and There's heaps of drugs out there and you think what the hell is possesses people to go and take these drugs and put them into their body, you know Whereas I don't really consider marijuana to be a drug. It's In retrospects, it's it's a plant. It's natural. It's herbal. What I do consider to be drugs is crack, meth, heroin, cocaine, things like that. I do have respect for people who get themselves clean off those drugs if they do manage to get on them. And, you know, I have respect for people who keep themselves clean and keep themselves in a lifestyle that's good for themselves and everything else. What I don't understand is how people can get all those heavier drugs and sort of fuck their life up completely. I have enough trouble trying to maintain my life on the current prescription drugs and everything else and, you know, the little bit of stuff that I do. I mean, I have enough trouble maintaining my life doing that that I, I can't imagine what people would be like on those other drugs and everything else and how they'd fuck their, how they'd fuck their lives up severely.
That's what I don't get. I just don't get it. I really don't. I don't understand people's perspectives and like, you know, like I said, I guess people, some people get in the room with the wrong crowd. They ultimately, they, they screw up their lives in that sense, you know? I do understand sometimes people take drugs to mask pain and everything else. I mean, not just pit, not just physical pain, but emotional pain. But I do get why some people take drugs to a certain extent for pain, because you know that's what pretty much you give in these days, like opiates and stuff and codeine and things like that and, and things of that nature. It's sort of funny. I I'd have a more detrimental effect on my body with opiates than I would with any other because I've had codeine and everything else and things like that and I've had dexamphetamine um, when I was on um, pres like prescription drugs for ADHD and stuff and I can honestly say they they didn't, they screwed my head up they honestly did they screwed with my head I um I just don't understand how people can take them. I really don't. Um, I, I don't know, like, you know, then some people say alcohol is just as addictive. Depends on the person. Everybody is a different, uh, attributing to that stuff and everything else. Like, if you've got an addictive personality, you're going to be more likely to get addicted to something. And the other side of it too is addiction was taught as an emotional. It was wasn't it was taught as something that was a choice by someone, but not a, but nothing to do with emotional issues and family issues and stuff like that and stress. Addiction comes down to the individual. This is even the context of now they're talking about addiction to video games and everything else. Anything can give you an endorphin high um, if you if you if you associate it with that, you know what I mean? Like that's sort of that thing like associated with fun and you know whatever you associate it with. It can give you an endorphin high, but I mean to be honest, it depends on the personality type. And I was sort of looking this morning at the psychologist, so I'm thinking the psychologist doesn't know half the shit that people go through when it comes to some of this stuff, you know, like... Psychologists only know so much. Psychology books only tell you so much. And that's the thing. Most of this stuff can be put down to lifestyle, sometimes people's choices, but also not just choices, it can come down to stress. It can come down to hanging around the wrong people, you know, things like that. I mean, I don't know. See, it's funny. I can I can go without these for a few weeks if I really want to. I don't have to have them all the time. But sometimes I, I use them as a bit of a straight stress coping mechanism. Need that open. But, um, that's not, most people don't realise the types of things that we do to cope with stress. You know, we're, I mean, God, caffeine can be addictive if you have enough of it. And if you're on a regular basis of it and everything else, you know. But different types of personalities have different types of ways of dealing with it, you know. And... I've learned through the long term that you don't necessarily need these things, but sometimes they help. They just help curve the urge to get the shits with something or get annoyed or you get the shits with something. I mean, I don't know. I I don't get the shits all the time, but I do get the shits occasionally with some of the shit that goes on in this world and some of the shit that drives me nuts. So I admit, you know, that's this is one of my vices. Um... Maybe alcohol a little bit, but not as much. I don't drink as much now, mind you, because I don't really 
having the much money to sort of afford as much booze. But the other side of it too is I don't feel the need to go out and have a drink all the time. You know, it's not always needed. Um, sometimes I feel like a drink. I might feel like a drink at the pub or something like that. Or I might have a drink at home, which is different when I'm having at home, you know. But the other side of it too is I used to binge drink sometimes on a weekend. Um, which was not very good for me, I realised that. But, you know, the other side of it too is... Um, it was because I had a friend encouraging me to drink because we wanted, we wanted to see if we could out-drink each other, sort of thing. And that can be something that happens. With, um, with this type of stuff. You, you don't necessarily mean to get addicted, but you do get addicted to certain things. It's sort of weird. I, I don't know. Addiction is a bit of a... A gray area because sometimes it can relate to emotional states of mind it can relate to how you are psychologically if you're connected with people if you're around people more and you have more fun and you feel more social or sociable you're not going to be as prone to having any type of addiction issue with something to take the emotional pain away of being lonely or not just lonely but um being emotionally overreactive or whatever you know anxiety things like that depression but the other side of it too is if you look at even if you look at a fucking um, antidepressants, they can be addictive too. That's true. Mood enhancers can be. And the other side of it too is you know that's peddled by pharmaceutical companies and their claim is it's safe and stuff like that. But I still reckon that antidepressants and other stuff are not not as safe as people reckon they are. That's the thing. You gotta realize is that there's all different personality types. You can get addicted to gaming too. That's another thing as well. Which supposedly there's addictions for that as well. And other side of it too is they turn around saying you know like parents being irresponsible and when their child play games and stuff like that. Well, it's not just that. It's a, it's 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 a parent's responsibility to t to monitor the time that a child's on a game or whatever. It just makes sense. I don't spend all my time gaming. I do game a lot, but I don't spend all my time gaming. That's my point. And that's the point I'm trying to make. All different circumstances add up to what whether somebody's going to have an addictive personality or not, whether they're going to... There's certain types of personalities who, you know, they always want the high, they always want this, they always want that. Exactly the same context. I don't have to smoke weed all the time either. I don't smoke weed all the time. I smoke cigarettes, I admit that. But on the side of it too is I can take a two-week break from these and not, you know, so, you know, I don't have enough money to get more cigarettes or whatever. I'll just go without, you know? Simple as that. That's my point. All different types of ways of defining this stuff, it's psychologically speaking, is given by psychologists, but they don't know, they don't, sometimes they don't know the full story of what's going on in that person's life or what's caused them to turn into a particular drug for relief. You know, whether it's emotional pain or whatever or things like that. We all have bad things happen to us, and admittedly, most people don't pick up a needle or pick up a crack pipe or whatever, or a cigarette or whatever, that's true. But the other side of it too is, <clears throat> you have to really, when you have to deal with the amount of dumbasses I have to deal with on a daily basis with some of the shit that I've come across on the internet, just not just the internet, but even in real life sometimes, the amount of people who are just stupid in the way they deal with things, it's like, People wonder why I smoke cigarettes and why why I drink a bit and stuff like that. You know, like that. That's the point. That's the reason I do, is because of that fact. You know, so, so sometimes it's dealing with stupid people that's my most most stressful situation for me. 
That's my point, I'm a pretty smart person. I don't plead ignorance on things. Another thing too is some people are just plain ignorant, but there's also people who plead ignorance on some things in the sense that they ignore what the problems that are going on in the world and they ignore things that are going on. And they choose not to pay attention to it. And I think that's the thing that we that we don't get. That's the reason sometimes this is a solution or a drug is a solution or whatever, you know? By the other side of it too is pharmaceutical companies always pushing the drugs of antidepressants to solve people's problems. So, yeah, it's a, it's a catch-22 thing. That's my point. It's a catch-22 thing with a lot of this stuff. And you've got to realise, when it comes to this stuff... It's it's such a, a broad area that we don't realise what's going on, you know? We don't, psychologically we know some of the things that go on in people's brains with some things, but we don't. We don't fully understand the human mind yet that, as much as we think we do, you know? And there's a lot of things in the world we don't understand either. And I think that's the problem with the world, you know? Generally speaking, addiction and drugs... Um, I consider to be bad things. Certain drugs, certain things are considered to be bad things. What I consider to be bad, in a sense myself, is crack meth and heroin and things like that, and cocaine. Those drugs have a lot more detrimental damage to people and families and social situations. Not just that, but they cause people to do stupid things as well. much more than a cigarette and much more than weed and even well alcohol can even fuel violence as well and other things and you know things of that nature we don't realize that we don't realize well we do realize as a society but we don't seem to want to stop certain things and you know hanker back on some things and sort of understand it a bit better you know So I two is where we're throwing money at things. I admit money's nice and it does solve some problems, but it doesn't solve every problem. Sometimes human interaction, human compassion, human emotion are a good thing, and those are the things that we should value. Much more so than always being about money orientation things like that that's my point anyway i'll leave it there for now i just want to talk about drugs and addiction what i think of them and yeah all right thank you very much uh, i'll leave it there like favor and subscribe if you'd like to um also um uh, like favor and subscribe if you want to to my Patreon or something like that if you want to do something like that. If you want to support my channel, feel free. I'm always doing videos like this and other videos, a combination of also tech videos, a lot of tech videos as well, but this is a personal blog video, personal blog video on what I feel happens and what doesn't happen with drugs and addiction. So yeah, I'll leave it there anyway. Thank you very much and uh, catch ya. Bye.